Hey there and welcome back to another video. My name is Casey and I'm a mom of a toddler. He's almost three years old and I have a baby girl on the way. We are about seven months in and we are getting close to the time where we need to get our bassinets set up and everything ready to go. So I thought it would be great to do a comparison of two bassinets that I have. One from Fisher Price, the Stow and Go bassinet, and the other bassinet is by Baby Delight. It is the Beside Me Dreamer. And I hope that today's video will help you make a decision if you are looking at either one of these bassinets. Now this review is not necessarily a comparison between the two to see which one is better because I'm going to be using both of these bassinets. The Beside Me Dreamer is going to be up here with me in the bedroom and the Stow and Go bassinet is going to be in our living room. And the first thing I want to talk about is price. The Stow and Go is what is currently on the website as I'm filming this is $85.99 and the Beside Me Dreamer is $199.99. So that one is $114 more than the Stow and Go. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, the Stow and Go might be the one that you want to consider. And you can find these on other websites, Amazon, eBay, uh, Target, Walmart. So make sure to look at different websites and see if you can find one at a lower price. I want to start this comparison with the measurements. The measurement between our bed and the wall molding is just under 29 inches and both of these bassinets would work um, in the space between the bed and the wall on my side. I tried to provide as many measurements that I could for everything. Um, I will also insert drawings that I made up on paper for these because sometimes what you're seeing on a chart isn't necessarily what you might be thinking and visualizing in your mind. So I made little sketches. Please excuse how it looks, <laughs> but uh, feel free to pause the video and screenshot it if you need to. All of my uh, measurements are going to be approximate. I'm going to say that a couple times during this video. Other things to note in comparing these two bassinets is that the Stow and Go was super simple to assemble. It was literally four metal legs that click into place. You turn it over and you place the mattress in, and that is it. Baby Delight bassinet was really simple as well. Um, most of it was like a uh, click into place. Need any tools to assemble either either of these bassinets, which was really nice. Baby Delight did have more steps and it took about five to 10 minutes max to put together. All of the things that I'm going to be talking about in the comparison part of this video, I will insert as a screenshot at the end. So if you want to screenshot the screenshot, then you'll have that as well. The Stow and Go does come with a storage or carrying case with it. The Baby Delight bassinet does not come with any case for storage. It lays very flat compared to the Baby Delight. Um, the Baby Delight, I mean, it lays pretty flat, but not as flat. So if you're looking for which one's more portable, Stow and Go, for sure. So both of these bassinets would work beside our bed here. Um, 
The mattress height from the floor to the top of the mattress is 21 and a half inches. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, the measurement from the bed to the wall molding is just under 29 inches. The Baby Delight's legs have, I put a min and a max because they're like a tension rod type of leg and I wanted to make sure that I put that minimal measurement in there in case because it does look like it could fit into tighter spaces. Both bassinets are very sturdy. The Stow and Go does not have any sway motion, but the uh, Baby Delight does. It does sway side to side. And a lot of people had seemed very concerned about this when I was researching this. They were saying it's not stable or whatnot. And I looked in the actual website from Baby Delight and also found that they have a, uh, a YouTube channel. And they do say on both website and YouTube channel that this is a product design for Soothing Baby. So don't be panicked when you set the baby to light up and it is having a little bit of side to side swaying motion. It's not gonna tip over. Um, it's literally so you can lay in bed and hold it and push it side to side to help that baby that's getting a little restless back to sleep. As far as the mattress inserts, uh, both are very firm. Um, I know people online in the reviews were saying that it was a little too firm, but it is safe, um, safer, I guess, than a softer mattress type. Um, you do want your baby to lay on a flat, firm mattress on their backs. So I think that these mattress inserts will be just fine. The thing about the inserts that may turn people off is that they are not at like a standard size. So you do have to go through the actual company to get a replacement cover if you need it. The Baby Delight bassinet is adjustable in height and it has six different height settings. The Stone Go does not adjust with the legs. It's just one, one height. The great thing about both of these bassinets is that they both have a mesh netting around them so you can see baby without getting out of bed. You can just look over and you know check on them because as a mom I know I went through this and I know like first-time moms are probably gonna worry about this as well you kind of wake up and you're like you're worried about your baby like are they breathing are they did they, did they get their face you know to the side or something so this will help ease a little bit of your fears um, you'll be able to see them right from the bedside. The Stow and Go bassinet does have a setting for uh, vibrations, for soothing. Uh, I personally will not be using that, um, but you'll have to make sure that you get the batteries for that if you want to use that setting. The Baby Delight, I think there are other versions that have these capabilities, but the version that I have does not have that. Another interesting feature on the Baby Delight is that it can be used as a bassinet but it can also be used as a co-sleeper and it has like an, a zipper panel that you can unzip and unhook and have it flush with your bed or above the mattress depending on the height of your bed. It has anchors that go underneath your mattress to the other side to help um, with stabilization. Unfortunately my bed does not have a flush mattress with the frame. It does have a ledge. Um, I can put a picture in if it helps. We also have underbin drawers on this bed, so the legs of the, ba the bassinet won't go under the bed to make it closer. So that was one downside, but that's just because it's my bed. Not every bed is like my bed, so having it, you know, depending on your bed, you might be able to use it as a co-sleeper, which will be great. So definitely measure your space that you want the bassinet in before purchasing any bassinet. You know, um, some of these measurements were not provided online. I looked up reviews to try to see what other people said and still had trouble finding all the measurements that I found. Again, my measurements are approximate. They are not 100% on the 
fraction of an inch. Uh, I did this to simplify everything and um, it's possible that I've measured something wrong. So please do your own research about these products if you are considering buying either one of these. Read reviews from other people. Um, again, if you see a review that says something about the Baby Delight Swain, you can look it up in their Frequently Asked Questions on their website, or you can look it up on their YouTube channel that it is a product design, so don't let that deter you from it. Overall, I think these bassinets are great so far from what I've seen. Um, the Stow and Go is actually the bassinet that my husband and I decided to buy about a month or so ago. Um, we wanted something that was going to be portable and we got it for a really good price. The Baby Delight was gifted to us by my grandmother, so thank you, Momo, for the lovely gift. We will be using it in our bedroom. I hope this video was helpful to you if you are considering buying one of these bassinets. I will do my best to answer any questions. If I can't answer them, I would refer you to look up um, on their actual websites and check their frequently asked questions section. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on because I upload very randomly. Until next time guys, bye!